it's Disrupt the Channel. This is King Me. What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back. I know. Do you ever have problems like doing the interviews and getting interviews and stuff like that and talking at an interview? You know, you, you guys can talk all all day on it. You know, what I'm saying on this media, but do you know how to talk when it comes down to getting a job? You know, it's a little different. Let me help you out a little bit, man. Watch this video. Subscribe to the channel. This is the one and only King Me. Yee! Stressful, and the questions you may face may be challenging. Job Connection career coach Sarah Yucatel is here today with some help so you can handle those curveball questions without fumbling, or maybe without dropping the pitch or whatever, if we stick with the baseball analogies. But mm -hmm. first off, let's start. What is the best way to prepare for those tough interviews questions? Well, the best way to prepare for an interview is practice. Mm -hmm. You know, going through, making sure that you know the role, the responsibilities, and anticipating what those tough questions will be. Some of the toughest questions that I've seen in different interviews that I've been on have always been situational mm -hmm. or maybe like a behavioral in nature. Uh, can you give an example of a question like that? And then what's the best way for us to answer it so we feel prepared and we sound well informed and in the best positioning uh, for the interview? So a situational question would be, tell me about a time that you've had to deal with a difficult person. Mm -hmm. And with that, you need to be very specific. What was the situation? What actions did you take? And what were the results? So was one time I had to interview this lady about job connection. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, that wasn't the situation Great, at all. Great, thanks, what about, so. what about a behavioral question or something like that? <laughs> So a behavioral question would be like, what was the biggest problem you've had to solve in your last role? Mm -hmm. And you know, being able to describe what was the situation, what was the problem, what actions did you take, and what were the results? Okay, so this was a position that I was put in. Here's how I adapted, overcame, mm -hmm. and, and succeeded past that uh, that uh, that adverse situation. Mm -hmm. Or another situational question would be, tell me how you manage multiple conflicting priorities. How do you that gives me your time? thinking about it? Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But what if I don't know the answer to a question? You ask me, maybe it's a situational question and I my mind blanks, or you ask me an inf more informative question that I just know the answer to. Well, if your mind blanks, you could say, could we come back to that question mm -hmm. uh, at the in a little bit? Or if you simply don't know the answer, just say, you know, I don't know the answer, but let me research it and I'll send you a follow up email with my so answer. Be truthful. Then right. Because it's like if you are about. if you get the job and you get asked a question, you, know, you don't want to lie. Mm -hmm. So just say this is what I would do in this situation. I would take my time. I would research and I would rather give you a, an informed answer versus Something off the cuff. Just whatever I, right, I right. spit out here. Right. Yeah. Well, how do you recover from that? Then let's say you give a bad answer or you have a bad question. Uh, what's that recovery look like? Do I step back and move forward or do I just own it and just keep going? Just say, um, you know, that wasn't, that was a really tough question. You can acknowledge that it was a tough question and say, you know, I'd really like to do some further research. You know, would it be okay if I send you a follow up email with the answer that I'd really okay. like? Well, Sarah, those are some great tips, and it makes me concerned if I ever have another job interview again, because I don't think about a lot of that well, stuff Well, call sometimes. me. I'll be able to I'll help you. I'll call you for the coaching <laughs> tips. Please do. 